Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone. Welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I'll show you how to change the margins in Excel. When you print the sheets on paper, setting the margins plays a pivotal role in determining the aesthetic of the page and data. Hence, it's important to check, adjust, and change the margins depending on the data when you print. So, without further ado, let us see how to change the margins in Excel. One method to change the margin is by using the Page Layout tab. This is one of the well-known ways to change the layout of the sheet. First, navigate to the Page Layout tab in the main menu ribbon. Under the Page Setup section, click on the drop-down from Margins. You can see the current page margin is highlighted. Now, you can click on the desired margin you want to apply to the sheet. Once the particular margin is applied, you can see the page break which appears with a dotted line. When you navigate to the Page Layout tab and change the margin, the setting only applies to the current sheet. If you want to change the layout for multiple sheets, hold the Control or Shift key to select non-adjacent or adjacent sheets respectively. And then navigate to the Page Layout tab and then change the margin to apply to all the selected sheets. Another way to change the layout of the sheets is from the File menu. When you use this method, you can see the preview of the margin changes and the selected margins only apply to the printed sheet and do not apply to the Excel sheet. First, open Excel and choose another particular sheet to change the layout. Navigate to the File Main Menu ribbon. Click on the Print option. On the Print page, click on the drop-down for Margins and select the desired margin. Once you select the margin, you can see the preview of the content with the margin applied in the preview pane. Click on Print to print the sheet with the selected margin of your choice. Until now, we have seen how to change the default margins in Excel. However, if you're not satisfied with it, you can use the custom margins in Excel. From the Page Layout tab, you can use the Custom Margins option in two ways. You can either navigate to the Page Layout tab, click on the drop-down menu from Margins and select Custom Margins. Or click on the Page Setup option, which can be seen as an extended arrow in the Page Setup section. This opens the Page Setup dialog box. In the dialog box, click on the Margins section to customize the page margins based on your preference. Additionally, you can choose to center the content either horizontally or vertically by using the checkbox. Finally, you can see the preview, print the pages with the current margins by clicking on Print, or apply the changes to the sheet by clicking OK. Another way to set up custom margins is by navigating to the File main menu and clicking on Print. From the Print pane, click on the Show Margins button in the bottom right corner. This shows you the margin markers, which can be seen as fine lines running across the page. Using this, you can move and set the margins independently. In addition to changing the top, bottom, right, and left margins for headers and footers, you can also change the column width of the individual columns. After specifying the margins, you can click on Print to print the pages. That is all, everyone. In this video, we saw how to change the margins in Excel. You can choose the default margins or customize and specify the margins based on your preferences. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.